Hello folks, this is Aitken Alta from AspireTrice.com and today we are going to talk about the Asus ZenBook Flip UX462DA. This is a 2-in-1 laptop and today we are going to showcase an unboxing for the same along with a detailed review. So guys, let's first start with unboxing for the same inside you get this laptop and you get a 45 watt power adapter for this one along with a documentation warranty card you also get a stylus on the inside because this is a touchscreen laptop now let's talk about the build and design on the left hand side you get the dc in power port along with the hdmi port a usb type c port and a normal usb a port this laptop opens up fully and you can rotate it to almost 360 degrees and use it in a lot of different form factor ways so that makes it versatile on the right hand side you get the Kensington lock slot along with the power button, the LED indicator and a 3.5mm jack. It has 1.4mm of key travel and the keyboard is a LED backlit keyboard. It weighs around 1.6kg and I found that the laptop was really handy for your normal day to day usage. It has a 14 inch display which we will discuss later in more detail. Let's talk about the internal specifications. It comes with the Ryzen 5 3500U processor which is a quad core processor, 8GB of RAM and you get a 512GB PCI Express storage which is really fast. If we talk about graphics, there are no dedicated graphic options but you get a Radeon Vega 8 internal graphic chipset along with this one. And if I talk about the benchmark performance, that's good enough for your normal day to day usage but this laptop does suffer from thermal throttling if you are doing any heavy tasks for a long extended period of time. But the internal read write speed is really good and the system didn't lag at all while doing normal stuff like browsing or other things. And now let's talk about the display on this one. It comes with a 14 inch LED backlit full HD 16-9 nano edge display and I found that the display was one of the best parts about this laptop because it has a very thin 4.3mm bezel and has a 100% sRGB color gamut which means that it's really color accurate and has a 178 degree wide view angle and the added bonus is that it has a great touchscreen support and now let's do a sound check Though it comes with Herman Kardon audio certified speakers but still I found that the maximum volume wasn't really that high. But one of the great things about this laptop is its ability to change form factors. So you can easily use it as a secondary display just to watch different content apart from your main screen or maybe use it as a tablet for multimedia viewing experience. And now let's talk about the gaming performance. I won't recommend this laptop at all for anybody who is a serious gamer. I was able to play Counter Strike Global Offensive on 800 by 600 resolution at lowest possible settings and I was getting only around 60 to 80 frames per second which is pretty low considering the fact that the settings were so low. I was able to play Lara Croft Shadow of the Tomb Raider at only 24 to 30 fps and that too went to seriously low at some points of time at lowest possible settings at 720p. I was able to play Rainbow Six Siege but at lowest possible settings with 1024 by 768 resolution and definitely the resolution and everything else was really low but still the frame rates were not that high enough for me to have an enjoyable playing experience. This laptop is so compact that sometimes keeping it up to the eye level was really a daunting task. Apart from that, I felt that this is one of the better convertible laptops out there. This is because you can do a lot of different stuff on this laptop while working on some other machine and even use it as a normal vertical kind of monitor to see different stuff or maybe from a web page while working and it works beautifully in all of those scenarios. It comes with a battery which is rated to last around 9 hours or so. We got around 7 to 7.5 hours of battery life. And the 42 watt hour cell on the inside is good enough if you are using it on balanced power mode or power saver power mode. But if you are somebody who's going to do heavy tasks, we won't recommend this for long duration of usage. But apart from all of this, at a price of around 65 to 66 thousand rupees, we believe that this is one of the better products out there for people who are looking for a multimedia product which can double up as a tablet as well and has a lot of different capabilities. So guys, this was it for this video. In case you like this one, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and do subscribe to Inspire to Rise for more awesome tech videos like this one. I hope you all are safe wherever you are. Please wash your hands. Please take care of hygiene. And no matter what you do, stay inspired to rise.